Assalamualaikum. How's going? I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. Welcome back, everyone. It's been quite a while. I'm happy to be back, and we are back for upload multiple images in Cloud Faster. Let's hope for a good outcome, and you will learn many new things. So let's get started. Okay, so we are looked at how to save product in Cloud Fire Store. Today we are talking about how to upload multiple images in Cloud Fire Store. Okay, so let's start from create a feature function. Since we are going to create the function with true or false value, in type would be boolean. First, let's see the application. In upload image style, whenever we will select some images to upload on server, think that images already exist on server. How can we handle that? To identify all images uploaded or not, to define that we will create a boolean variable and that we will set to true. To handle this state now we will add provider. That helps make our widget as dumb as possible by separating logic from the widgets and injecting the important data to those widgets. Let's put it into a variable. To calculate how many images have been uploaded, we will use for loop. A loop is used to repeat a block of code until the specified condition is met. It has three things, initialization statement, test expression and update statement. In count would be product detail dot select images dot length. The i variable initialized with zero value. The test expression will be executed until it is less than selected images length. The initialization statement is executed only once. In that would be integer. However, if the test expression is evaluated to true, statement inside the body of the for loop are executed and the update expression is updated. Again, the test expression is evaluated. The process goes on until the test expression is false. And when the test expression is false, the loop terminates. Inside the body of the for loop, we will create a if statement. If product detail dot selected images index dot image type equal image type dot local. Then we will print out image being uploaded. Now we will create a function upload file to path. We will not create here. Let's move on product services file. To upload images on Firebase Storage, first we have to create an instance of Firebase Storage. Reference method will give us a reference to Firebase Storage. Firebase Storage comes from a package. To use that in our pubspec.ml file, we have to add the package. Let's put it into a variable. child to create a folder and put file to add image file into firebase storage 
let's put it into a variable we use await to wait until it adds the images to storage and then continue execution that will successfully added images to storage now we will use git download url method that will give us the url of the image inside fire storage let's put it into a variable now we can finally add both the url and the image to firebase storage inside specific collection now we will create try catch block try block allows us to define a block of code to be tested for errors while it is being executed and catch block allows us to define a block of code to be executed if an error occurs in the try block in try block we will add upload file to path function that we created earlier to define the path we will create a function in the path we will create a folder products slash images slash images id inside of the folder we will have all the images and then path and index will be returned ok so now we will add the function in path Mistakenly, try catch block would be inside of if statement. File would be file. In that path would be product detail dot selected image index dot path. Okay, so this is for path, and this is for file. now we will create a variable download url in the download url we will add show dialog in builder arguments would be parenthesis underscore and error notation we got a red line we have to add await and async keywords in that we will return future progress dialog to define future let's put it into a variable In that we will add another property message Now we will add catch on and finally block. We have to create toast variable. In that exception would be firebase exception. Inside of final block take a if statement if download url not null no. 
selected images would be custom image that we created in product details file as we can see path record that's why in that it's record so path would be download url and image type would be image type dot network else set to all images uploaded false and take flutter toast widget to notify failed message Okay, so we are done with finally block. Lastly, the function has a return type. The function will return all images uploaded. So that's all about upload product images. Cool. So this is pretty much it for today. I hope you have learned many things and it's just so easy. Stay tuned for next part. If you want to how you can actually say product in part 22, I will finalize the process of safe product. See you in the next one.